Okay, welcome to uh, my class on content management systems. This class is going to focus on Joomla. This is my first uh, video tutorial for this class. And I wanted to get something up really quickly so we could get started. One of the first things that we're going to do is, um, before we can even talk about running Joomla, we need to install a web server on our local computer. We're going to practice this locally, meaning we're going to do this first on our own computers. Uh, you could use your home computer, your laptop. Uh, you could even use a computer here in the lab. Uh, we had some students doing that yesterday here in the networking lab at the college. But first thing you're, what you're going to want to do is you go to Google and type in WAMP server. Okay. And it'll give you a link, install PHP 5 Apache MySQL on Windows WAMP server. You click here and we'll go to their website. Um, the uh, Internet's a little slow here, but anyway, here's the website. Um, you'll see Apache it tells you what to do, Apache, MySQL, PHP on Windows. We're going to need this to practice running Joomla locally, our content management system locally. So, number one, it says download the latest release of WAMP server. You can add stuff later. Um, work with a development environment uh, that reproduces exactly your production server. What that means is you can basically practice on your home computer what you would do on your web host if you had a shared web host or a web server that you paid for like GoDaddy or some type of service like that. So it's good to kind of practice it locally first. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to download the latest version of WAMP server. Okay, and right here there's a link. I'll just click on this and hopefully it doesn't give you too much, too many problems. All right, it'll take you to SourceForge, and then your download will start. And what you want to do is just save it to your um, computer. I saved it to my desktop here, and I'll move this over to the side. And you'll see right here on my desktop is the um, WAMP server installer. You can kind of see it on the side here, WAMP server 2.exe. Um, Another thing that you're going to want to do in this class is you're always going to want to be able to see your file extensions. So if you don't have those available already, what I suggest you do is go to Tools, no, I'm sorry, open up a folder, let's say, like open up My Documents, go to Tools, Folders, Options, View, and make sure that um, Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked so that you can see your file extensions. What do I mean by that? I mean that this file is a .php file, this file is a .fla file, this file is a .js. These are the file extensions, these letters after the dot. Normally um, Windows likes to hide those, but we're going to need to see them. So WAMP Server 2, you can see .exe, that is the download. Um, as you can see, my download's not really happening here, so I could click on direct link right here, and that will um, open up and start the download. It's usually just a, depending on how the speed of your internet. I'm coming here from the college and sometimes it's a little slow. But I've already downloaded it and saved it to my desktop so I can skip this part. See, and you just hit click save and you'd be fine. I'm mean, going to hit cancel. All right, and I'll move this to the side. Okay, and I'll run. I'm just going to double click on the installer and run the installation. I'll click run. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just hit Next. I'm going to accept the agreement. Next. The default installation is usually pretty good. It's going to go in the C drive in a folder called WAMP. That's fine, so I'll hit Next. Um, I already had a previous installation, so I'm going to install it, reinstall it on top of it. All right, I'm going to create a desktop icon and a quick launch icon. Hit Next. And hit Install. And now it's going to install the um, the program. Now what this is is WAMP Server 2. What it is, WAMP stands for Windows, uh, Apache Web Server, MySQL Server, and then PHP. So um, this is also in the appendix in your book by Barry North on Joomla. There is a um, an appendix that shows you how to install WAMP Server or WAMP 5, depending on what version of the book you bought. There was a um, there's a, a version with Joomla 1.5 and there's a version with just Joomla. Um, 
Firefox has de been detected. Yes, I can make Firefox my default browser. If you don't have Firefox installed, that's fine too. Eventually we'll install that. And specify the SMTP server. I'm just going to leave this blank for now. If you wanted to, though, you could put your email address in here. Um, that would be fine. And I'm going to hit finish. All right. And now WAMP is installed. Okay. And I'm going to show you a little bit about that. We're going to need to see our task manager to take a look at how WAMP is, is working. Let me see if I can open this thing up here. WAMP Server 2. Okay, it's running. I'm going to have to make a next movie to talk a little bit more about WAMP. If it's installed correctly, what you should be able to do is open up a um, new browser window in Internet Explorer or Firefox, type in localhost, and hit enter. That's localhost. And you should see a reply from your web server that it's running, WAMP server, so with a configuration file. We'll talk some more about this in the um, next movie, in the next video.